YouTube so I'm back and I have a good little surprise I was like choking up because I'm like so excited I got the new naked three so excited um I put it back in the packaging so you guys could see me like open it because I already did it let me just turn this mirror because I keep looking at the mirror um I already um like opened it I'll show you guys a little clip at the end of Rudy giving it to me and it was just so awesome I was just I'm so thankful for him so yeah this is it naked three and you open it and inside it comes with um, the urban decay eyeshadow potions and it just gives you four little samples of all of the urban decay um, primers so this is the case so so pretty and I like that it has like a little bumpy like, I don't know how to explain it it's just so awesome so this is it comes with a good decent sized mirror but these are the colors and what I like is that it comes with a brush um, I didn't use the brush for this tutorial that I did for you guys um, it just feels a little bit really um, like really stiff and rough but people some people are saying like these are the best brushes to apply the makeup with so I will give it a try so this is the the this is one side this is for the eyeshadow like to blend it and then this is the other side to like pack the um, colors. So anyway, someone cares about the brush, let's hurry and get up into the colors. So these are the colors right here. There's Strange Dust, Burnt Out Limit, Buzz, Trick, Nooner, Liar, Factory, Mugshot, Dark Side, and Black Heart. What I like about the palette though is that you can see all the rosy undertones. Like these three, maybe not as much, but Black Heart, you can see like the pink specks, and like I don't know like gold I don't know if you guys can even tell let me just focus focus it for a minute let's see right there like the goldish the pinkish specks let's see so the first one is strange very very pigmented very very pretty you could just put this under your brow or on your lid and it's just so gorgeous so there it is right there very very pigmented so that is strange the next one is Dust. It's like really pink, pinkish, um, sparkly glitter color. Um, this one I did have a lot of fallout in the video. You guys will see that I put it on my eyelid and you can kind of see like some of the fallout. But it's workable. So let's go ahead and swatch this color for you guys. Like you see the fallout on the... I don't know if you guys can see it. So this one is Dust. And that's it next one is burn out very very pretty pinkish kind of looks like metallic I don't know you guys tell me so that's it next color this is gonna be one of your matte shadows it's limit very very pretty it could just be um, just a really good blending color trans um, transition color and um, it's just very very gorgeous I love it like look how pretty that is next one is buzz and it's just like a dark a darker pink very pretty I don't know you guys tell me what you guys think out of it very very gorgeous though I like it I like all the colors this palette was like meant for mommies or the people who just want to like stay like in the neutral zone and don't want to like go too smoky with the colors so yeah, this is it. Very, very gorgeous. Next one is Trick. And this is like the gold, the only gold color that you see throughout the whole palette. So this is gold. Oh wait, no, this is Trick. I say it looks gold, like a goldish bronze color. And um, the next color is another matte shadow. It is Nooner. This one I used um, to blend the eyeshadows. Very, very pretty. It's like a, like a, like a violet, pinkish, mauve color. I don't know. Look at it. This one is Liar. I like this one a lot. It's very, very, very gorgeous. And it just like looks so very shimmery that's what it is and it's just like you could just use this like all over your lid like look how gorgeous that is I'm not even lying liar is so pretty 
my bam party okay so the next one is factory um i really haven't watched this one i really played with it but it is very like it's very sheer as well these three colors right here liar factory and mugshot are the ones that are going to be really shimmery and just really like dramatic just to get that kind of like pop um and these ones are just like you know tone it down more like neutral and stuff so these are going to be Towards the end are like your dramatic colors. So anyways, let's go ahead and swatch it. It's factory. Very, very pretty. Okay, so the next one is mugshot. Let's just swatch that. Oh, I love these like really sheer colors. It's just all over the lid. You're good. There you go. Look at that so freaking gorgeous and the next one is dark side Ooh. and this one looks like kind of like a matte color mm, i don't know let's see no not matte like kind of like has like a sheen to it yeah not really matte let's just swatch it uh, i guess so kind of matte but kind of sheen i don't know you guys decide that is dark side okay and the last one but not least it's like so far my favorite is black heart it just looks so pretty and it has like these specks of pink and gold and it's just like damn like it's a really pretty color so oh it's so so pretty like look at that can you guys see the specks of gold and pink it's just so beautiful you can't go wrong so so pretty right i like it so overall it's a very beautiful palette the rosy tones and just like the sheen colors that they put in here matte colors and the very shimmery colors just a very very beautiful palette i'm so excited this was my first naked palette and i was not disappointed okay i was just oh my god so, I don't know, there's just so many beautiful looks that you can get with it. I was going to say tutorials. So many pretty looks that you can do with it. You can just, you know, if you're a mommy like me and you really can't go dramatic all the time, stay in this zone. It's perfect. You can pull off amazing colors with it. And, you know, when you go out with your friends, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever, and you want to go with like a dramatic, smoky, beautiful look, you can just hit this area right here and it's just perfect. I love it. It's a, it's a must have in my book. But yeah, I love it. Look at this. Um, very impressed. Very, very. Um, I wasn't disappointed at all. Every time when I would go to Sephora, I would play around with the Naked Palace and like put my fingers in it and like swatch it. Look, babe. And I'm just so glad he got me this. I'm like very, very, very happy. And yeah, it's amazing. So anyways... That was my little review and yeah stay tuned I'll be uploading the makeup tutorial either tonight I don't know I'll just do it in the same day why not but yeah other than that I keep rambling on thank you guys so much for watching and I love you guys bye hope you guys this helps